Hey everybody and welcome back to another X-Plane 11 video. I've been asked over the last few days how to move your custom scenery folder from X-Plane 11 onto an external hard drive or an SSD. So I'm going to share with you what I've learned after watching a couple of YouTube videos and we'll take this one step at a time. So to start, I want you to either open this PC or just your kind of explorer for Windows and locate the drive that X-Plane 11 is housed in. For instance, mine is in this PC, SSD2, the OR is the name of the drive, and then X-Plane 11. This guy here is our custom scenery folder. The first thing we do, back it up, just in case something goes terribly wrong. To back it up, right click, hit copy, and then select the new drive that you want to place it. In my case, it's just over here in new volume Z. Open the drive, right click, hit paste, and your custom scenery will now be located here. So that's the first thing we do. When we finish this step, we have a custom scenery folder sitting in our new uh, location, be it an SSD or a hard drive. And we still have the custom scenery sitting in our root X-Plane 11 folder. The next step, we got to rename this custom scenery folder that sat in the X-Plane 11 root file. So we just select the file, right click, rename, click at the start, and we'll type in old custom scenery. Hit enter, and that's sat there. If you were to run X-Plane 11 now, it won't actually read any of the files in here because it's not looking for old at the start of it. So you have your main scenery backed up on a different drive and you've just renamed this one. If anything goes wrong, you can still revert to the, your custom scenery in your X-Plane 11 drive and in your other, uh, your other SSD or hard drive. Now the next step involves a bit of coding. So go down to your search, type in command, and up will come command prompt. Now I want command prompt to be looking at my uh, X-Plane 11 drive. So in this case, it's this PC SSD2 X-Plane 11. You can't just type that into command. It won't really understand it. If you're unsure, just click on this address bar and it will show you the actual address of where you're looking for. So what we want to do, we're gonna type in or because that's the drive I'm looking for. Then we're gonna type in the following command. It's called M K link space slash j that is to make a hard junction uh, to another folder or drive from here we hit the space bar we put in inverted commas and we're going to put in the full address of our xplane 11 root folder to do this we type in in my case it's the or drive and it's xplane 11 we then want to uh, make a new folder called custom scenery, if we could spell, and then put in inverted commas. So we're saying create a hard junction for X-Plane 11 custom scenery. You then do a space, new set of inverted commas, and now you got to tell the junction, well, where is this data coming from? So in our case, it's a Z drive, and it's simply called custom scenery again if you're not sure you can just go out to uh, the drive that you've copied the original from there's custom scenery so if you were to double click that click the address bar it'll say z custom scenery when you have that done back into your command close it all off with an inverted commas double check your code is correct mk link space forward slash j space inverted commas the drive that X-Plane 11 is sat in, a backslash custom scenery, because you're going to create that folder, close your inverted commas, space, new set of inverted commas, the new drive that you're going to pull the information from, in my case, it'll be Z custom scenery, and close it with a set of inverted commas. When you're good to go, hit enter. It'll then come up junction created for X-Plane 11 custom scenery, which is going to be read from Z custom scenery. To make sure everything is correct, I now go back into my X-Plane 11 root folder, and here I'll have a custom scenery file with the little shortcut icon, and if I double click on this, that's all my custom scenery, the whole shebang. And it's actually reading it from this drive, custom scenery. So if, for example, you download more custom scenery or you buy a product or whatever, 
you can still drop it into your X-Plane 11 custom scenery because this junction, it'll just pop it straight onto your other hard drive. I hope that has all made sense to you. The main safety points would be back up your custom scenery first, make a copy. Once this is confirmed working and you have this custom scenery with the little icon and you open it up and you can verify, yeah, that's all my custom scenery. You can then go ahead and delete the old custom scenery folder because that folder is going to have a ton of information on it. So when you hit delete, it goes into your recycle bin and whatever space it was taking up, it'll now come off this original drive, allowing you to add, say, more aircraft or plugins or whatever else it is you want to do. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if there could be other tips or ways to do this uh, for making junctions. This is what I've learned from watching a couple of YouTube videos. Um, if you have any comments, opinions or suggestions, do please leave them in the section below. I do read them and I look forward to seeing you all real soon for another video. Take care, guys, and thanks for watching.